In this chapter, we're going to go over where to invest and how to invest. This video, we're going to talk about where to invest. So some of the common, the largest platforms for opening accounts and holding your assets are Schwab, Vanguard, and Fidelity. We do like in, in, interactive brokers and trade station for non-US investors. So Schwab, it's a great option. They have a very user-friendly platform. It's not great for determining returns on investments or portfolio growth, but it's easy to buy, sell, and it'll do the basics of reporting what you've done. They have very low expense ratio options, although if you're doing ETFs, you can buy them on other platforms. Their mutual funds do not have investment minimums, so that makes them nice. If you're doing target date funds, that's a great way to go. Open your accounts at Schwab and use the Schwab target date funds. We actually recommend using Schwab for US investors. Vanguard's great, they have low expense funds. They're, um, they used to be the leader in inexpensive, low expense indexes, but everyone's caught up to them at this point. Um, they have all the basic investment options for a diversified portfolio, no problems with them, really no complaints. I think it's real slight the differences between Schwab and Vanguard. Uh, one of the drawbacks, though, is with their mutual funds, the initial minimum investment is $3,000. So if you're just starting off and doing little by little, this might not be a good platform, especially if you're wanting to get into the target date funds. Fidelity is reasonable. Their expenses are higher than Vanguard and Schwab. Uh, they do have some, this is kind of a marketing thing, zero expense ratio funds, but the funds that have zero expense ratios, um, we don't recommend at this point. Interactive brokers, again, this is a good place for uh, international investors. There is a fee, I believe it's about $6 for trades on this platform for buys and sells. So you don't want to make transactions or do transactions often, and you don't want to do transactions that are under $600. You, you want the expense or the transaction fee to be 1% or less. So if you're trying to get a diversified portfolio, you may do it in stages. So you can move money to interactive brokers when you have $600, buy, inter buy the broad US fund. Then when you have another $600, the international, then another $600, the bonds, and then another 600, the US. So it might not be balanced or in the desired allocation that you want right away. But eventually, as it grows, you can just add to the areas that are underexposed and get there this way. International investors also are limited. They cannot invest in mutual funds. So you're limited to the exchange traded funds, but there's no problem there. The exchange traded, traded funds right now, uh, you could get a three fund portfolio and easily have a diversified, easy to manage uh, portfolio. TradeStation's another one. I've not used th this one, but they are inexpensive. Uh, they do have uh, a transaction fee, but it's low. Whereas Vanguard, Schwab, and Fidelity have zero transaction fees right now. They used to, a few years ago, there was a transaction fee, and then all three of them went to no transaction fee. Really, in summary, for U.S., uh, investors, we recommend Schwab. Again, Vanguard's not far behind. And outside the U.S., we'd recommend interactive brokers at this point. All right, next time we'll talk about how to invest.